I'm about to take you through my most favorite cardio and focus routine. In just 30 minutes, I'm gonna get your heart rate up. I'm gonna activate every single muscle, creating a long, lean, strong looking body. So are you ready? Let's go. So first, let's start in your warm up. Start with your feet wider than your hips, a strong stance with bent knees. And we're gonna start with arm circles. Each part is 20 seconds, let's begin. Circle your arms back, really open up your chest, try to get as big a range of motion as possible. Breathing deeply, connecting breath with movement. Ha, ah, very good. Let's reverse the circles, up and over. Feel that big shoulder stretch there. Nice work, four, three, two, and one. All right, so now take your arms out to the side with the palms turned up. We're gonna reach up and over, join me. So this is stretching out the side body getting the heart pumping a little bit with your arms up above your head, and it's waking up your shoulders. Good, make sure once again, you're connecting your breath with the movement. Five seconds, you're doing great. And now let's just take it into crossing the body. From here, cross. What you want here is a big twist of the spine, waking up the torso, once again, opening up the shoulders. Good, don't worry about the footwork so much, just move that body. You're doing great. You have five seconds here. Ah, notice the heart rate starting to go up. Good job. Now, take your arms out wide. We're gonna go for what's called toe tap. Notice that my legs are now wider than my hips. Left arm reaches down to right foot, other arm up. Come back up to center and alternate. 20 seconds on the clock. This is waking up your hamstrings, your inner thighs, depending on how wide your legs are. Waking up your torso, your arms, the whole body. Good, how you feeling? You got five seconds here, nice work. All right, and let's rest. From here, we're gonna wake up the hamstrings a little bit more. Stretch your arms up into the sky, keeping your legs straight, tap down to the floor. Reach up, tap down. This is waking up the hamstrings, the back, reach to the sky, tap the floor. Try to keep those legs straight. That's really important here. If you have to bend them, it's okay. Just do the best you can. Good, five seconds here, awesome work, and relax. Okay, let's wake up the front of the body here. Give me genie positions with your arm, doesn't matter which one's in front. Legs wide, you're gonna kick your butt, butt kicks. Good, keep your knees bent, get a little bounce, and literally try to kick your butt. Waking up the front of the legs, you wanna keep those arms up so that heart is working a little bit. Nice, this actually should feel pretty good. If you're breathing heavily, that is okay. It's all part of it. Awesome work, take a break. From here, let's just start warming up the legs even more with a little jog in place. I want you to keep your hands loose, okay? We've got a lot of arm work today where I'm gonna ask you to close your fists. Right now, shake them out. Stay light on the feet. And can you pull your core in just a little bit? Awesome work. We're almost there, five seconds. Keep shaking those hands. And good, all right, last one to pump it up a little bit. We're gonna do those butt kicks again, but fast and feet only hip width apart. Arms loose, let's go, kick your butt. Good, so on the way up, you really wanna flex your feet. Give it a good swift kick in the butt. You're doing awesome. This is your last warm up move, you got this. Feel that breath working, stay strong for me. Almost there, five seconds, four, three, two, and one, all right, that was your warm up. Keep the body moving, let's go into toe taps to get the heart rate down just a little bit. Are you ready for your cardio? Let's get that cardio started, you ready? We're gonna work the legs. I want you to start with your feet hip width apart. Now I want you to pretend as though you have weights in your hands. For those of you who do have light weights at home, feel free to grab them or bottles of water. From here, I want you to give me two fists, pretending that you're holding weights. We're gonna step out to the left into a side squat and come back up, folding the arms as you go down, 30 seconds on the clock. When you step out, I want you to push into your heel, trying to get as low as you can. Keep your chest up, breathe deeply, good. Now with the arms, squeeze those biceps on the way down. You feeling those legs? You should also be feeling those arms if you're really squeezing them. On the way in, squeeze those inner thighs. Everything is activated right now. Good. 
Reminding you again, push through those heels. You got five seconds left on this side. You can do it. Working those outer thighs, the butt, everything. Here we go, other side. Stepping out to the other side. Go. Okay, very important here. What is your upper body doing? I don't want you folding in your back. I want you to look at me and pull your chest forward. I want you to imagine that you're sitting deep into a chair, right? A very low chair. Stick that butt back and down. You're doing awesome. Heart rate is up. You feeling that? Working those outer thighs, working that butt, working those legs. Stay with me, five seconds, four. You're doing great. Almost there, one more, and come to stand. Woo! All right, let's activate those legs some more. Feet are a little bit wider than your hips, toes pointed forward. Interlace your hands here and come down low into a squat. Holding this, we're gonna go for two pulses and a hold for 30 seconds. Go. Pulse, pulse, hold. Go. Pulse, pulse, hold. Keep going. Your toes are loose, so loosen them up, push them to your heels. Keep your chest up, abs engaged. Oh my gosh, those legs are burning. You feeling that? I'm definitely feeling it. So if you're not, you're not doing it right or you're not getting low enough, stay with me. Feel the burn, baby, feel the burn. It's awesome. Almost there. And come to stand. Well done. So now we're gonna go into jump squats. Legs wider than your hips. Bend your knees and jump, go. We have 12 of these. Reach your arms up to the sky, land low. Keep your chest up, do not fold in that back. If you can't jump, just do stationary squats, that's totally fine. You're almost there. Reach, how bad do you want it? You have two more. Stay with me, last one, and relax. From here, let's keep the body moving. We're gonna go for cross punches. Go. All right, let's give those legs a little bit of a rest. What do you say? You're doing awesome. So with your punches, I wanna see a twist of the torso, and I really want you to punch something and pull your elbow back. Keep your core engaged. So 20 seconds of this, you're almost there. Now, forward punches with a twist, go. Tight, arms. Feel the twist of the torso, really punch forward. This is so good for the heart, so good for the arms. Keep them really tight. How you feeling, you still with me? You should feel winded, you should feel like you're working. You guys are doing great, and rest. From here we're gonna go for jumping jacks, but a little different. So the arms going up, Push them forward, here we go. Push, open your legs out, squeeze your inner thighs together. And literally imagine as though you're pushing a door open. It activates the core more, outer thighs, inner thighs. If you can't jump, one leg at a time, totally fine. Just keep moving your body. Five seconds here, looking good. All right, let's go into high knees. Genie arms, this is a modified high knee to activate the lower abs. And I want you to literally kick your arms. Get those freaking knees up. You're doing amazing. Feel your lower abs engaged. Those of you more advanced, give me a kick, kick, kick. I don't care how high the leg goes. What I wanna see is control. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Amazing work. 30 second break and let's keep going. All right, how did that one feel? You ready to do something like that again? Of course you can, you ready? All right, let's go back into some leg work. This time, I want a V position with your feet. So they, it looks like a plie. Get your elbows up, strong fists. We're gonna step out into a side plie, opening up the, those arms and coming back in 30 seconds. Here we go. Step out, back in. Now here, I want your butt to go straight down as though it's going in between those heels. Feel that inner thigh stretch. Feel the inner thigh work and the outer thighs here. Drive through the heels, keep your chest up. Woo! Are you feeling those legs? I'm definitely feeling these legs. Extend those arms, squeeze those triceps, work in the back of the arm. Only five seconds left on this side. You can absolutely do it. Stay with me and let's go for the other side. Set up and go, side. This is shaping beautiful legs. What some people call legs for days, right? You're doing awesome, chest up. Now, let's check in with other parts. Is your core engaged? Are you breathing? I sure hope so. This exercise is about to get really weird. You don't want to stop breathing on me. Stay with me. You got it. Squeeze everything. Squeeze those inner thighs in. Almost there. You have five seconds. 
Good. Activating different parts of the legs, stabilizer muscles, and rest. Okay. Let's go back to something that looked familiar before, but now our toes are turned out. Let's come down into our plie, hands together. Same idea, pulse, pulse, hold. 30 seconds, here we go. Pulse, pulse, hold. Yes, those legs are gonna burn. And all I can say is, you're welcome. You're doing great. Push into the heels, push into the outer edge of the feet. Keep your chest up and breathe. Stay calm, it's nothing you cannot do. I'm right here with you, doing it with you. You got it, can you get even lower in those legs? Do you want legs? days, absolutely, stay with me. Almost there, and rest, awesome. So remember those jump squats we did before? Let's do it again, but with the toes turned out, activating different muscles, 12 of them. Ready? Here we go, jump, tap, whoa, jump. It's okay, sometimes you slip, you keep going. Reach, good, land, ball to heel, soft on the body. Reach those arms up, like you're trying to touch the ceiling, and land low, keeping your chest high. How are those legs feeling? Mine are burning. You're doing great. Last one. And let's do cardio core again. Side punch, this looks familiar. Stay with me. Can you perfect the form a little bit more this time? Punch harder. I know you're out of breath. You came here to get out of breath. You came here to work your body, to transform. Do not give up on yourself. Come on, push. Let's go for straight punch, twisting the core. Let me see that deep twist. Core in tight as you punch those arms forward. This is amazing cardio for those that maybe have, you know, weaker knees. This helps to get your heart rate up, work in the arms, getting strong in those arms and that heart, you got it, almost there. And let's go into the jumping jacks, pushing your arms forward to activate the core. 20 seconds, go, push. Now, main focus here, core, pull it in especially as those arms are pushing forward. Push that door away. Open up those legs. Stay strong. You're doing amazing. I'm really proud of you. You're almost there. All right, you ready for some high knees? Genie arms, go. All right, you're not gonna hurt yourself. Kick your freaking arms. Get up there. Feel your core engage. Those of you feeling a little stronger today, give me your kicks. Go, kick, kick, good. Energy through the heel. Abs in tight, you're almost there. Three, two, one. Amazing work. Side tap, take a break. Don't worry, just one more thing for those legs. Standing up, are you with me? All right, let's go back to some balancing exercise. This time, we're gonna go for a forward lunge. Arms this time, we're gonna two fists with the elbows out, and we're gonna go into an overhead shoulder press. Stepping forward with one leg, bend the back knee, extend the arms up, drive through the heel, and come back to center. We're gonna alternate legs, 30 seconds on the clock. You ready? Go. Push. So, keep your chest up. Really extend those arms up. Now, notice that I don't lean forward as I'm coming down. I'm staying upright, trying to get my back knee really close to the floor. What a lot of people don't understand is lunges aren't just about legs. It's really a lot about the core. It takes a lot of balance to be able to keep yourself upright. Stay strong with me. I know those legs are burning. You're doing amazing. You only have five seconds left. All right, let's do one more each leg and rest. Okay, let's take one leg forward, coming into a lunge position. Bend your back knee as close to the floor as possible and hold here for 10 and releasing the hands. Stationary lunge, shoulders back, Isometric hold. Abs in, you're almost there. Feel the burn. Drive through the heel. Push it back. Let's switch legs. Coming low to the floor. 10 seconds on the floor. Go. Chest up. Abs in. No energy in those front toes. Keep it in the heel. I feel that butt. You feel that butt? You're doing amazing. Almost there. Two, one, drive through the heel. We're gonna go for skiers. Big range of motion. Legs go forward and back. Here we go. Forward and back. Bend your knees. Bend that back knee. So, this move is for 30 seconds. For those of you, if this feels good, well maybe that's the wrong word, you know what I mean, keep doing this. For those of you more advanced, full jump lunges. Bending your back knee towards the floor. Good, you got it. Stay upright, let those legs burn. 
You can go right back to skiers. Don't worry about it. Only four seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Back to cardio core. How are you feeling? I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling good. It's all in the mind, my friends. You can absolutely do this if you tell yourself you can. And you want to be here with me. Otherwise, you wouldn't be doing this. Abs in. Come on, punch. Almost there. You know the drill? Punch forward. Go. Twist. Knowing that this is your last time doing it, give me more. Push more. Do not give up on yourself. I am right here with you. Stay strong. Chest up. Yes. You're doing amazing. So proud. Come on. Punch. 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 All right. Time for jumping jacks. You know what to do. Push those arms forward. Go. 20 seconds on the clock. Can you open those legs out a little bit more? Can you push a little bit harder? Breathe. Tell yourself you can. You're worth it. You deserve it. You deserve to feel amazing. Come on. Push. Three, two, one. Arms up, Jeannie. Go. High knees. Pump. Can you give me more speed this time? Good. For those of you who can't give me the kicks, go. Kick. Kick. You're almost there. You're almost there. Come on, push. How high can that leg get? Almost there for five, four, three, two, one. You did it. That concludes your standing cardio. Amazing work. Now we're gonna come down to the floor and work your arms and abs together. You ready? Come on down. Now I want you to know that if at any point this is too tough, you can choose just to do the abs or just do the arms. You don't have to do both together. Okay, let's start with our arms wider than our chest. And then from here, you wanna spread your fingers and come up off your knees, holding a plank position. We're gonna do six of these moves. I'm gonna show you one first and then we'll do it together. You're gonna to bend deeply down to the floor as low as you can get. Push yourself back up. Then lift your butt up into a pike position and come back to plank. Feel free to do these push-ups on your knees if that's a better option for you. Ready? Six of them. Go. Inhale, exhale. Lift, down. Again, how low can you go? Spread those fingers, push into your thumbs. You're doing great. Activating core and arms. You only have two more. Down, push up. Back, one more, present your chest, and take a break. Good. So that activated the whole arm and the chest. Now we're gonna work the triceps, bringing your thumbs and your first finger together into a diamond shape. So you wanna make sure those fingers are touching. You're gonna come into a plank position with your feet together. Watch my first one. Bending the elbows out to the side, push yourself up, then jump your feet out and jump them back in. Remember. You can do this on your knees for push-ups. Ready? Six. Inhale, exhale. Jump out, jump in. Good job, keep going. Activating the triceps and the lower abs and your obliques. Try to keep your butt low below your shoulders. You're almost there. Last one. And rest, wonderful. So now we're gonna activate the shoulder and the triceps together. A lot of people call this chaturanga push-ups derived from yoga. This time your hands are only shoulder width apart with your fingertips facing forward. You're gonna come off your knees with your feet now hip width apart in a plank position. Shoulders right over your wrists. Watch me on the first one. I'm gonna bend down, elbows close to the ribs, push myself back up, and then I'm gonna twist my opposite knee to my opposite elbow and then come back. Push up and then twist. Ready? Six of them together. Let's go. Inhale, exhale, twist. Again, down, up, twist. Feel free to do these on your knees. Take your time. Point those elbows back. You're doing awesome. Just one more each leg. Almost there. Last one. And relax. Ooh, how are those arms feeling? Core and arms together, heart rate is still up. Amazing work. Now let's do focus core. So now we're gonna do focus core work on your back. This is a combination of Pilates and a few other things that I'm throwing in there. You ready? Let's do it. Come on down. 
You're gonna bring the soles of your feet together to get a nice hip stretch. This also activates the lower abs more and the obliques. Come and roll all the way down. Taking your arms up overhead, squeeze the soles of your feet together, and slowly, you're gonna roll up. Go for the stretch, feel the stretch through the hips, and then tuck your tailbone and roll down. 30 seconds on the clock, join me. Now for some of us, roll-ups are really tough, and that is okay. If you find this too tough, just place your hands behind your head and go for crunches. Those are the muscles that we need to get strong so that you can eventually roll up. There's always something to work up to. There's always a way to improve. Don't get defeated. You're doing awesome. If you are rolling all the way up, really get full stretch for the head and then squeeze the heels, tuck your tailbone, roll it all the way down. Very good. All right, so now you're gonna bring your feet parallel, hip width apart. If you're not aware of what hip width is, take your two hands together in a fist, place that between your knees, and that's hip width. Okay, you're gonna place your hands onto your thighs with straight arms. The goal here is to keep your arms straight the whole time. Hand glide. For 30 seconds, we're gonna roll all the way up, until your fingertips reach as far away from your knees as possible, and then you're gonna slide back down. 30 seconds, here we go. Exhale, crunching up, reach, and then back down. You should really feel some deep work in the core there. Up and back down. If this bothers your neck at all, place one hand behind your head as you glide up, and you can alternate. You're doing awesome. Big exhale, up and back down again. Exhale, can you pull those lower abs in just a little tighter? Let's do one more together. Can you reach just a little bit farther? And down you go. Awesome. Now we're gonna focus on your lower abs. You're gonna lift your legs up in what's called tabletop position. Notice that my knees are in line with my hips, my toes are pointed, and my heels are slightly above my knees. On this pose, I want you to squeeze your knees together so that we can activate the lower abs. Hands down by your side, push your back into the mat. From here, we're gonna take the toes down towards the floor as far as you can go, and then exhale back up, 30 seconds. Now, let's begin. If you can only go a few inches down and pull back up, that is totally fine. What I ask is, when the legs are going down, really push your back into the mat. That is the most important thing. Inhale down, Exhale up, good. Relax your neck, push into your hands. You should really feel those lower abs. Engage them, this is your last one. And relax, very good. So let's now activate the obliques. Keeping one leg bent, extend the other leg straight with your hands behind your head. When you're twisting towards the leg, I want you to reach the leg up toward the sky, coming off your shoulder blade and back down. Here we go, 15 seconds each side. Exhale, twist, down, twist. Good, so the point here is to keep your elbow wide and really think of bringing the shoulder towards the knee. Five seconds left, you're doing great. You should really feel those obliques there and let's switch sides. Extend the other leg, go, exhale. Basically, everything feels a little bit harder after we've done all that cardio and you're doing awesome, stay with it. Almost there, can you reach up just a little bit higher? Good, I want you to give me one more and relax. Come all the way up and that concludes core on your back, well done. All right, so now that the core is done, we're gonna focus on your outer thighs. I want you to come all the way down onto the side of your body, doesn't matter which side to start, because you're gonna get the other side anyway. You're gonna rest your head onto your hands, and you're gonna take your legs straight, slightly in front of your body. We want them slightly in front for balance, because no matter what, your core is going to be working here. You're gonna take your top arm down in front of you, and you wanna push that hand into the floor. All right, so now take your top leg up, hip height, and turn your toes slightly down to the floor. We're gonna tap in front of you. You're gonna circle up and then tap behind you. 30 seconds, ready? Let's go. Tap, lift, tap. Now, as you're doing this move, 
you want to think about length. You're literally reaching the leg away from your body, engaging your core. You should already feel those outer thighs working and your abs. Push into your top hand, you're doing great. Make sure that you're also really squeezing that butt at the top. Good job, almost there. I'm really feeling it. Five seconds left, just give me a few more. And relax, perfect. From here, keep that toe pointed down and bring it in front of you. We're gonna do 30 seconds in what I call X. So think of that you're drawing one line of an X down to up at a diagonal. 30 seconds, let's begin. Exhale, push. Exhale, push. Now, as you're extending the leg back, you wanna keep the leg super straight with the foot flexed, so you're leading through the heel. And then you really wanna squeeze your butt back there. Lift the leg up, that's it. You should already feel it. I'm definitely feeling it. You're doing awesome. Try to keep those shoulders still for me. Don't let them rock forward and back. Push into that top hand. You only have a few more, stay with me. Let's get one more in there and relax. So here we're gonna activate the outer thighs some more. Bring your legs back in line with your body. This is a balancing exercise. I want you to push into your top hand and lift both legs up. Holding both legs up, top leg is gonna lift up off your bottom leg for 10 seconds. Here we go, last part, lift. Keep your bottom leg lifted. Pull your core in, push into your top hand. Four, three, you're almost there. Two, and one, relax. Perfect job. Slide your knees in, come on up. Let's do the same thing on the other side. No need for a break, you can absolutely do this. Top arm down in front of you, legs are slightly forward, top leg up, big toe turn down, tap it to the floor, big circles, 30 seconds, go. Up and back. All right, so something I should tell you. Your bottom hip is gonna be tired, so this side is gonna hurt more, which means you have to concentrate more. Breathe deeply. You can absolutely do it, and I'm right here with you. You've gone this far, you gotta keep going. Flex your foot, pull your abs in. You should already feel that butt working. I do, <laughs> definitely. You're doing great. Stay with it, heel turned up, almost there. And relax, good. Let's complete the X. Big toe down, kick it back behind you, 30 seconds, go. Boom. What I do not wanna see are those shoulders moving. Keep them still. We're not just working your glutes here. We're still working the love handle area, right? We want stability in the body, concentrating on working the glute. You're not just gonna feel this in your outer thighs. You might also feel it right there, the base of your booty where your hamstring and your butt meet. Got it? Flex, squeeze, doing great. Last five seconds, almost there. I know it's burning, and rest, okay? Final outer thigh move. Bring your legs back in line with your body. Find your balance, push into your top hand and get both legs up. Super straight, strong legs. For 10 seconds, top leg is gonna lift up. Here we go, go. You're gonna feel an automatic pinch right there. You're also gonna feel those obliques working. Stay strong for me. Four, and three, two, last one, and you did it. Amazing work. Let's stretch out. Okay, so I want you to come onto your hands and knees. From here, you're gonna bring your right leg forward, as though you're coming into a low lunge. Now pay attention to my front knee here. Notice that my knee is in line with my ankle. It's okay if it comes a little bit more forward, but you don't want it going over your toes. And then if you can, slide your back knee back just a little bit, and really sink into the hips here. After all that work we just did, this should feel amazing. For those of you who are a little more advanced, bring your hands to the inside of the leg, if this feels good for you, stay here. Otherwise, come down onto one elbow or both. Whichever works for you and hold. At this point in stretching, static stretching, which means holding your stretches, is really good for your body. All that hard work paying off, allowing the blood flow to go into the area, and then slowly come on back up if you were on your elbows, and then place one hand back on either side of the leg. From here, gently pull your hips back, straightening out your front leg, flexing your foot for a hamstring and calf stretch. If it feels good for you, drop your forehead closer towards your knee. So some of you, if you're tight in your back, you're gonna feel this all the way up in your lower back and that's absolutely normal. Just 
be gentle. Don't overdo it. Once you feel the stretch, stop right there. If you want to, you can slide the leg a little bit more forward. From here, point your foot, get the stretch for the ankle, and flex it. One more time, point and flex. Let's bend back into that front knee, dropping through the hips. Balancing, bring your arms up and reach up, stretching out the core, the psoas, the hip flexors. Really arch up and back. If you're finding you're losing balance, just stay upright. That's absolutely okay. Feel that nice stretch through the front of the body and then release. And let's switch to the other leg. Bring that leg carefully back behind you. Same deal, other side, bringing your leg forward. Once again, match your knee up with your ankle. Be really mindful there. Scoop the knee back and sink as low as you can into your hips. That should feel great. Once again, if you do it on your elbows, bring your hands to the inside, come down onto one or both and relax your neck. Whichever works for you, don't overdo it. You can come back up if that feels good for you. The point is to feel it. Never compare yourself to other people. Your stretch is what's right for you. Come back up, bring one hand to the other side of the leg, and then pull your hips back, straightening out that leg. If you need to slide the foot forward, go for it, flexing your foot. The flex gives your calf a little extra stretch. And there's an attachment behind your knee here. So when you stretch out the calf, you're actually helping to reduce stress in the knee. Point your foot. Flex your foot. One more time. Point, stretch the ankle, and flex. From here, you're gonna bend into the front knee. Once again, dropping through the hips, and then come to balance, lifting the arms up into the sky. And if you can, really tilt up and back, opening up the chest and the front of the body. And then gently release. From here, push into your front heel, and come to sit cross-legged for me. Now, sitting cross-legged doesn't feel good. Just sit however it feels comfortable. No stress. Let's wake up the side body a little bit, taking one arm up and over. Feel the stretch, lift your chest, and release. Let's do the other side. Big breath here. Feel that side body stretch and arm stretch, and release. Bring your arms forward, and from here on an inhale, open your arms out, open your chest, Exhale, close. One more, inhale, exhale, close. And all together, bringing your hands to your heart. I am so proud of you, you did it. And I'll see you the next time.